Hi all, this is Kushbu Shah, intern in I4 Consultancy Services. Hope you are enjoying ISO 27001-2013 series. As you know, there are seven management clauses in ISO 27001-2013. We have already covered six clauses, and now I am going to cover the last clause, clause 10, improvement. So let's start. In this presentation, I am going to cover Audit Findings Clause 10.1 Non-Conformity and Corrective Action Clause 10.2 That is Continual Improvement Audit Follow-up with Example And Last References So let's start with Audit Findings So what are audit findings? The findings or results which are brought out from auditing. There are three types of audit findings. Positive, negative and observation. Positive finding is conformity. Negative finding is non-conformity. And observation is opportunity for improvement. So let me explain this in detail. Positive finding, which is conformity, is when policies and procedures of an organization are matched to audit criteria. Audit criteria can be any reference. For example, ISO 27001-2013. Then non-conformity is a negative audit finding, which is when policies and procedures of an organization are not matched to audit criteria and observation is opportunity for improvement which is when improvements are suggested for not to convert the policies and procedures into non-conformity so this was a brief of audit finding on which clause 10.1 is based on. Clause 10.1 talks about non-conformity and corrective action. When a non-conformity occurs, the organization shall react to the non-conformity by 1. Taking action to control and correct it and then dealing with the consequences. Corrective actions shall be appropriate to the effects of the non-conformities encountered. After that, evaluate the need for action to eliminate the causes of non-conformity in order that it does not recur or occur elsewhere. By Reviewing the non-conformity, determining the causes of the non-conformity and last, determining if similar non-conformities exist or could potentially occur. Then implement the corrective action if needed. Review the effectiveness of any corrective action taken. And last, make changes to the Information Security Management System, that is ISMS. So what could be the documented information for Clause 10.1? Organization shall retain documented information as evidence of nature of the non-conformities and any subsequent actions taken and results of any corrective action. So what is the nature of non-conformity? Basically there are two types of non-conformity, minor and major. 
minor non conformant is if part of any policy or procedure is not implemented and major non conformant is the full policy or procedure is not implemented at all so according to the nature of non conformant is corrective actions are implemented now let's start with clause 10.2 that is continual improvement what is continual improvement it is nothing but continuously monitoring previous corrective actions implemented and suggest if any improvements are there every organization shall continually improve the suitability adequacy and effectiveness of the information security management system so this is based on a triangle suitability adequacy and effectiveness of every corrective action implemented continual improvement can be monitored by audit follow up so what is audit follow up it is auditing of corrective actions that were suggested in previous audit in audit follow up auditor has to check whether corrective actions that were suggested in previous audit are actually properly implemented or not it is conducted for continual improvement as i said then check corrective actions suggested in previous audit is actually implemented or not after that evaluate the effectiveness of corrective actions implemented and last suggest corrective actions needed for implemented corrective actions that will be audited by next audit follow up now what is the checklist for audit follow up whether implemented corrective action is appropriate to the effects of the non conformity encountered or not corrective actions are implemented timely or not corrective actions should be implemented daily or weekly or monthly then policies and procedures of an organization are followed according to audit criteria which can be iso 27001 2013 or not auditor should sample for effectiveness of implemented corrective actions and ongoing conf confirmance now let me explain you audit follow up with example let's take an example of an organization every organization should review their information security policy at planned intervals whether it is monthly half yearly or yearly in this example non conformity or negative audit finding is given because review of policies for information security of an organization is not done in the last 18 months this nc is given against control a.5.1.2 of iso 27001 2013 which states that policies for information security shall be reviewed at planned intervals so in first audit auditor can suggest that organization that they have to review their information security policy at planned intervals now in audit follow up if review is not done at planned intervals then auditor can give direct nc that is non conformity so for audit follow up auditor shall review whether the review of policies for information security is done at planned intervals or not
and if not then auditor can give direct nc for more details you can refer this listed websites thank you